guys, welcome back to day three of my basic series. Yesterday I went over how to do foundation and concealer. So today we're going to do powders. Everything powders, contours, highlighting, nose contour. I'm finally confident enough to show you guys how I do my nose contour. And we're just going, we just going to start. So, as I said before, everything that I'm using in these videos is from the drugstore or it's extremely affordable. So I've already put down my concealers, my foundations, we all good with that. So first, I'm going to set this with some makeup spray. This is a little bit different than what I usually do, but I do find that it helps my face stay on longer. So the makeup spray that I use is from L'Oreal and it's the infallible makeup spray. And I just do a few sprays and let it dry before I apply my powders. So now that our setting spray is dry, we can start going into contouring and baking. So baking is basically just putting an excess amount of loose powder on your face and what it does is it traps heat from your skin and it literally bakes your concealer to make it cement like it goes nowhere so I've had to learn a technique on how to bake because there are a lot of videos out there but none of them are really working for me my eyes would just look really really wrinkly and crepey and I did not like that so I formed my own technique so initially I put on a thin layer of powder like I showed you in my last video and that was just to initiate the setting of my concealer under my eyes so now I'm going to go in with more powder. So the initial layer of powder just, you know, dried up the concealer. What I'm gonna do now is actually bake that concealer to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. So to bake, I only use one powder and that's the RCMA powder. And I used to use the Laura Mercier powder, but honestly, that was too expensive and this one works better. The Laura Mercier powder was kind of drying out my under eyes, while this doesn't for some reason. I don't know what it is, but not only is it like not as expensive, but it works better, so yes. So what I like to do is just put it in a little cap, just like this. And then I take the flat-headed brush that I use to pat on my concealer and I just put more powder on. So I like to start from the bottom and work my way up. Baking is also going to highlight your face. So I'm going to bring in up the side of my nose just a little bit to contour my nose. And the goal is to make it a straight line. And the goal is to make it a straight line from the following the line of your eyebrow. Now while you're applying this, you don't want to like swipe it because then you'll move what you've already applied and that could form clumps. So that's what I look like when I'm baking. Now if you have sensitive eyes like I do, like my eyes are watering right now, just take your time. There is no rush. You don't want to ruin this by crying because as soon as water hits your powder it's gonna clump it's, it's just like baking a cake you put water into your dry mix and it starts getting really pasty so try not to cry all right so that's one under eye so I'm just going to do the other So I look crazy. I know I look crazy. But trust me, after you dust it away, it's going to be perfection. And say you want to highlight different areas of your face, like you want to make them just a little bit brighter but don't want to add any more liquid. So I'm going to do that to the center of my forehead, 
down the bridge of my nose and right here on my chin. You can also go underneath your cheekbones, but I like how my cheekbones are looking right now. I'm not trying to go for like, you know, like super, super defined cheekbones today. So I'm just gonna leave them as is. So it's been about two minutes and now I'm going to brush this away. And to do that, I'm just going to use a big O fluffy brush from Real Techniques. I believe this is their blush brush. So you see how highlighted that is? Okay, so I look very, very bright. I know, but we're not done. So to set the rest of my face, because remember, I haven't said anything else. To set the rest of my face, I'm just going to use a light layer of that RCMA powder and just slowly dust it all in. So just take a bit on your brush, shake off the rest, and set the rest of your face. And this is just to ensure that nothing moves. All right, so everything is all blended. Looking cute, looking fly. <laughs> Not really. Let's do the bronzer and contour. So I like to do my contour first. And to do that, ooh, dirty. <laughs> to do that, I use my Wet n Wild Contour Palette, and this is in the Delta de Leche. Now these come in different shades, so they're made for a variety of skin tones. This just works best for me. So this is my contouring shade, and it's very ashy as you can see do not use this as a bronzer if you are my complexion it does not look good <laughs> so for contour let me get my brush out let me get my brush out I like to use this brush from real techniques this is the sculpting brush and I put the product along the side of the brush show you I put the product along the side of the brush right here I don't put it on this part of the brush because that's too thick I don't want my contour that thick I only put it on the sides so just like this one swipe that's all you need and you go where your natural shadow is now if you don't have prominent cheekbones fishy face So do you see? That's just a little bit of powder right there. This stuff is extremely pigmented. You don't need a lot. And the closer you get to your mouth, the lighter you want to be. I like to make the base of it a little thicker and then slowly drag it out. And when I do my bronzer, of course, I'm going to blend this, so don't worry, but that's just initial contour. Let's get into bronzer. I use a different brush for the I use a different brush for the bronzer. This is a BH Cosmetics 1114 brush, and as you can see, it's a lot fatter than the Real Techniques brush. Like it's a little bit more round, and that's why I like using it for bronzer rather than a contour. And for bronzer today, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Bikini Zone Bronzer. And this is just what I like to use um, when I want to go drugstore. If I want to go a little bit more high-end, something that's going to last like and look perfect, I usually go for my Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. But we don't need all that today. We just run an errand. So let's bronze. So I don't go below this line. Do not go below your contour line because then you're just going to look muddy and it's going to bring your cheek down. So don't go below that line. And if you're like, honey, that's still really prominent. You look draggy. I'm going to buff it out. Don't worry. Also, when it comes to your bronzer, if your foundation is a little too light for you, you can go ham with your bronzer. Like, warm up your face, do it. It will fix whatever lightness you got going on that you don't want so I think I fixed my 
foundation already. It was too dark. I've added a lot of concealer and a lot of bakage, so I think I'm looking pretty good right now. So I'm not gonna go too ham with this bronzer. And I do have to say, this Wet n Wild bronzer does come off a little orange, so if you are lighter than I am, do not use this because you are gonna be looking like a Oompa Loompa. Try a cooler tone bronzer. Um, the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula is really good for lighter skin tone. Now that we have our initial layer of bronzer down, I'm not looking like I want to look, so I just take that blush brush from Real Techniques and I'm just going to go in circular motions and buff that out. This is where I'm going to be blending out my contour. So on my cheeks, I just take it down, drag it up, take it down, drag it up. Like a big oval. And this is also going to blend your bronzer into your highlight so it's seamless. All right, so what I did was just add a little bit of my Fit Me powder and put it along this line right here because the transition between my cheekbone and the rest of my face was still a little bit too harsh for my liking so I just tapped a little bit onto my fluffy brush and buffed it in. So the line that you're seeing right now that's just my cheekbone. Okay so let's move on to blush. So the blushes that I've been obsessed with are from NYX and this one is their ombre blush in soft blush. And another one of my favorites is the NYX HD blush in Coraline, which I'm actually going to be using for an eyeshadow today. But um, for this, I'm going to be using a different brush. And it's just a little no-name brush. Yeah, but it's basically a smaller, narrower version that of the um, bronzer blush bronzer brush I use. So if you can see all of my sculpting brushes are pretty much in the same family. This is my contour brush, this is my bronzing brush, and this is my blush brush. And all of them are angled because I like to have my face looking really lifted. So I always apply my contour up, I always apply my bronzer up, and for my blush you will see that I apply it up. So I just like mixing these two, and these are really friggin' pigmented, so tap off the excess, girl. And go right here. I don't like going on the apples of my cheeks because I don't want my face to look rounder than it already is. I like to go a little bit past my apple, so about right here. And just add a little bit of blush. And I also bring my blush up into my bronzer because when you actually blush, you don't just blush on your cheeks. Usually other parts of your face get red too. So I just like bringing it up into my bronzer a little bit, just like that. And if you go too heavy on your blush, you can always use your big fluffy brush and buff some of it away. But I like how that looks. Okay, so that is my contour for my face, my blush. Now I'm going to show you how I contour my nose. Now, I am not a professional. I just learned to contour my nose this, like, couple months. I'm still practicing, so I'm just gonna show you what I do, what works for your nose may not, you know, what works for my nose may not work for your nose, because everyone's nose is different, and Depending on the shape you're trying to achieve, you might have to do things differently. So I will leave a whole bunch of cards up here, one after the other, to show you some nose contouring videos that I follow, or from YouTubers that I follow, and their techniques. And I kind of took a little bit from everybody and applied it to my own face. So 
for contouring my nose, I just go back into my Wet n Wild Dolce de Leche palette. And I use a little no-name brush. It's basically a eyeshadow brush, but it's fluffy and tapered. I don't know if you can see that. So it's wide on this side and then tapered when you turn it. So it fits right here in the crook of my nose where I want to make my contour line. Okay, so I start right here and I go for it. Very lightly. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna form a U around the tip of my nose to make it look lifted. So already you can see a difference between this side and that side. All right, just like that. Take a little bit more product, tap it off, and do the other side. Take your time if you are a beginner like me, contouring your nose, because if you mess up, you're gonna have to take all this off, and that's just going to be a nuisance. So you see that little shadow right there? It's kind of making my nose look a little lifted at the tip. That's the effect I'm going for. Okay, so you can see that this line is a little crooked compared to this line. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. So we're going to take a, another brush. This one is a little fatter than my contour brush, if you can see that. There we go. This one's a little fatter. I mean, it's still wide, but it's tapered, but it's not as tapered. This is also an eyeshadow brush, but I just use it for my nose. So I'm going to take my highlighting shade right here, knock off some of the excess, and go over the fat part of the line that I don't want to be there. Okay, you see that? That helped. Like a nice little highlight. Okay, and then I'm gonna do some on the bridge of my nose just to highlight it. And that's how I contour my nose. Not perfect, but works for me. Okay, so for highlight, I don't have any drugstore highlighters. I gave them all to my sister, but if I did have to recommend one, it would be the Wet n Wild Hollywood Boulevard from the Fergie Collection. I don't know if it is still available, if it's still sold. Um, I know it's a few years old, but that is a perfect dupe for Champagne Pop. Um, I bought the Jaclyn Hill face palette, and so I got Champagne Pop, the real one, so I don't really need it. I didn't really need the Wet n Wild anymore, so I gave it to my sister. Hope you're enjoying it, girl, yes. So, we gonna roll into a little bit higher end, and I'm going to show you a few. Um, high end to me is like 50 and above. That's high end to me maybe even 40 and above. So the highlighters I'm gonna show you are not high end, in my in my opinion. So of course, you <laughs> y'all know I love Jeffree Star. I just did a, a review, swatch video on these, I'll leave a card, hello. So I'm obsessed with the Skin Frost. However, these artists couture, they, they give him a run for his money. Like, these are like neck and neck in my opinion. Um, the only benefit of these are that they are pressed and these are loose. However, I'm digging these diamond glow powders, so I'm going to use them. <laughs> um, for my highlight today, I'm going to be using Coco Bling, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to use Coco Bling. I lied. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use the Carly Bible palette. 
I realized I haven't used this in a while. This palette is bomb, and it has um, a whole lot of eyeshadows. As you can see, I dropped mine, so I'm missing two of the colors, but it has so many eyeshadows, and then it had four highlighter so this was $12.50 when I purchased it I don't know if this is still for sale um but it was $12.50 so I consider that really affordable so for highlight I'm actually going to use this one right here and to do that I'm going to use my monster brush Woo! okay so tap away that excess girl <laughs> And I'm just going to go on the highest points of my cheekbones. So these highlighters are not super creamy. Don't be expecting butter, but they definitely highlight. And this is just really subtle, obviously. So that's the Carly Bible highlight. And I just went through my collection and I found some more. So these are the L'Oreal True Match Lumi highlighters. Um, I haven't talked much about these honestly because they are not the cutest. You have to really build these up, but um, for the sake of this video, I think I'm going to put them on. So I'm going to start with Rose and I'm going to use my fan brush. Now these are really powdery, these are not the highest quality, but if you are on a budget, they do get the job done. So, still really, you gotta pack, like you have to pack these things on. We're getting there though. Right? Right? Okay, and then I'm going to add the ice highlighter from L'Oreal as well. And this time I'm going to wet my brush with some setting spray, just so it is banging. Like, it's gonna be banging. This is a great, um, this is called foiling. You could do this for eyeshadows too. Basically makes an eyeshadow more pigmented. An eyeshadow that is sparkly, it makes it more pigmented. Don't do it for mattes, it doesn't work. Oh yes God. Oh yes, God. Oh, okay. get in there, get in there. Get in there, girl. Get on my face. <laughs> okay, on to the other side. You guys see that? So, even drugstore highlighters can be bomb. I mean, these are not my favorite. I don't really like to have to layer and layer and layer and layer. However, once you're there, you are there, honey. Yes. So we're just going to put a little bit of that rose highlighter above my eyebrow. And I realize I haven't done my eyebrows yet. I'm going to be doing that in the next video, which talks about all about eyeshadows and eyebrows. Just a little bit of highlighter, just like that, right above my eyebrows, and a little bit on the tip of my nose. A little bit, just like that. And then bring some down the bridge. And this is just helping with that contour, making my nose look really pinched, or at least a little bit more pinched than it actually is. And then I'm just going to use some on my cupid's bow. See? Give yourself a highlighted mustache. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something about powders, blushes, contours, and highlights. So tomorrow I'm going to be going into eyeshadows. And once again, that's going to be all drugstore as well. So I hope you come back tomorrow and see this look completed. Hope to see you in the next one guys. Bye!